When I first started cooking, one thing I had a lot of trouble with is cooking fluffy steamed rice. When I do it on the stovetop, it either comes out still chewy and hard or way overcooked and wet and soggy. Um, I started using a rice cooker and I had a lot more success with that, but I got an Instant Pot and I have found that I can make a nice quantity of steamed rice in the Instant Pot. It's easy, it's quick, and it comes out absolutely fantastic. So join me and let's cook some fluffy steamed rice in the Instant Pot. So I understand how challenging it is to make steamed rice. It um, takes a lot of practice um, to get it right on the stovetop. I have still not mastered it on the stovetop, but I found that the Instant Pot just rocks some rice, right? I just put in some rice. I do, don't use as much water as I do in the stovetop. I set it on the rice function and it comes out really, really good. Um, I tend to make two, three, four cups of rice because I cook it for leftovers. I cook it to use during the week. Sometimes I cook it for freezer meals. So we hardly ever cook one cup of rice. You can, but today we're gonna do three cups. This can do a whole heap of rice. You could probably do six cups of rice in this bad boy. We're gonna do three cups today because we're gonna be using it during the week um, for lunches and stuff. And this is a great way to do it because you can make a lot of it. So let's get to it. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna rinse our rice. And the reason you wanna rinse your rice is you wanna get all that extra starch off. Otherwise it will be sticky. We're going for a fluffy rice, not a sticky rice. So I'm going to put, woo, my three cups of rice in here. And this is just a strainer. And what I do is I just dump it in the strainer here. And then I go over to the sink and I run it under the sink. Run it and run it and run it until it is nice and rinsed. Um, you want to make sure you get all that starch off. So let me go rinse it and I'll be right back. So we have a basic garden variety grocery store long grain rice. To me, this rice almost looks like medium grain. The package said long grain, but I don't know. That's up for debate, right? So the longer the grain, the more separate your grains will be. If your grains are short and they're more starchy, you will have stickier rice. So this rice will come out fluffy because the grains aren't super long, you know, it might be a little sticky, but um, we will see, right? So I rinsed it. And then what's great about rinsing is this was when I bring it over here, you could just put it on your bowl and you don't drip all over the counter. So let's get this into the Instant Pot. So we got our Instant Pot all set up. Hear our little song. And we're gonna go ahead and put our rice in. Yay! And this recipe is kind of unique for rice. It is exactly a one-to-one -one ratio rice to water. So since we're doing three cups rice, three cups water. Some people do one and a half cups, two cups when you're on the stove top. In the Instant Pot, it is exactly one-to-one. -one. So I'm gonna give us a little salt and you can salt to taste. We're gonna put in our water. Now don't get nervous that we're only doing a one-to-one -one ratio. But I've cooked it all three ways, two-to-one, one-and-a-half to one, and one-to-one, one one, and one-to-one one is the winner. <laughs> So we're going to put our lid on our Instant Pot. You want to make sure that your lid is on sealing. Now this recipe is one to one, rice to water, a little bit of salt, run it on the rice setting, which is a low pressure setting. We're going to run it through the setting. We're going to let it come to pressure. It's going to cook. 
When it's done, we are going to naturally release it for 10 minutes exactly. And then we're going to release the rest of the pressure manually. So we do that just so it continues to steam, take up that steam and finish cooking and drying out. Um, so rice setting. Then spot will come on. And we'll go ahead and cook it. When it's done, I'll let you know, and then we'll do a 10 minute natural release. Okay, so for the purpose of this recipe, we are doing a basic, fluffy, plain rice. One of the reasons you might do it is you're probably gonna eat this with a dish that has a lot of flavor, and you don't want the rice to bring flavor to it because the flavor is in your other recipes. So if you're doing a stir fry with a sauce, if you're doing something else that you're going to combine with the rice and you want just a plain rice, but you can take the same exact procedure and flavor this rice. You can put in chicken broth. You can put in any kinds of seasoning. If you put in cumin and chili powder, you can make Spanish rice. If you put in herbs de Provence, you could put in Pansy Sunny Paris. You can put in Bar Mrs. Dash. Barbecue rub. You can put in barbecue rub. You can put any kind of seasoning mix you like and make a different type of rice every single time that you make it. So experiment with it. Use beef broth, use chicken broth, use vegetable broth, throw some seasonings in there. Play with this and make it your own. But for right now, once you get this process down of making basic fluffy white right rice, you can season it any way you want. So practice with just plain rice first and then go for it, right? So the Instant Pot just sealed um, and now it's a 12 minute cycle. We have 10 minutes left and when it's done, we will naturally, we'll let it naturally release for 10 minutes. So we have about a minute left. The cooker is going to end the cycle and we will let it naturally release for 10 minutes. There it goes. We're gonna let it just sit here for 10 minutes and then we will release the rest of the pressure. Okay, so it has now sat for 10 minutes and we are gonna release the rest of the pressure. Let's see if there's any pressure left in here. Oh, a little bit. Not too much. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, right? No, kidding. <laughs> oh, there's the rice on the ceiling. <laughs> rice, ooh, roof, right? Rice, oh, rony roof. Okay, let's take this off and see uh, what we got. Oh, there it goes. Oh, okay, so this dropped and now we're free to open the lid. So let's see what we have. Ooh, always open it away from you so you don't get a face full of steam. <laughs> so here's our rice and look at how, whoa, look at that. Nice, look at how nice and fluffy that is. Oh. Let me tell you every single time I have done rice in the Instant Pot, with this one-to-one -one, uh, ratio, it looks just like this. It is beautiful, fluffy, um, whoo, it's hot. <laughs> and um, wow, perfect. So let me put a little bit in a bowl with a little bit of butter and we'll take a taste. Okay, so let's serve us up a little bit here. Here, here, mmm. Smells very good, kind of toasty. Mm -hmm. mm. And I don't know how you guys do it, but around here we do it like that. <laughs> we do it like that. Stir it up here so it gets a little melty. Melty, melty, woohoo! Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's nice and fluffy. Look how dry it is. It's not sticky at all. I love sticky rice, don't get me wrong. Sometimes I prefer it more than fluffy, but I do like sticky rice. But This is fluffy style today. 
Yum, look at that. Now let's taste it. Mmm, really good. Nutty flavor. All the grains are separate. The grains aren't stuck together. Mmm, um, I spilt it even. Really good. This would be great with the stir fry. This would be great alongside anything. We made, we made quite a bit, so there's enough for all week. Mm -hmm. Really good. Um, thumbs up for the Instant Pot making rice. Thumbs up for, for the one to one ratio. And thumbs up to some nice fluffy rice. If you like this video, please subscribe below, leave me a comment and a like, visit my website at amylearnstocook.com. I'm also on Twitter and Pinterest at Amy Learns to Cook. I am on Facebook, facebook.com slash Amy Learns to Cook. Go ahead and send me a request to join my Facebook group. We have a lot of fun in there. A lot of fun. We've been talking about mixers lately a lot. Um, if you also, if you're on Instagram, I'm at Cooking with Amy. Yum. Dun, dun, dun. Ah! Dun, 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 dun. Ah! I won't tell if you don't. Oop. They are separate. Wow, that tastes almost like weird, but I'm used to them clumping a lot. Really, Amy? I asked you to be quiet. I asked you to be quiet. Sack for sound. Serving up some fine, fine, fluffy rice. Fine, fine rice.